Myths have been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. They can be used as a roadmap to help us navigate our way through life. Myths are false on the outside, but true on the inside. Myths are lies which tell the truth. Myths are stories that have never been, but will always be. Myths are not just for putting children to sleep, but for waking adults up. There's no one agreed upon definition of love, mm. much less how to make love. I don't know if this is okay to say, but, <laughs> but um, it's, it's a myth for me, uh, well, to stay with the question, I think that myth studies um, have never been really accepted in academe, and those places that do have myth classes are most often folklore uh, programs, uh, anthropology. So it's like myth is an addendum to larger disciplines, and so it doesn't, I don't think, get the respect, much less the, um, oh, I guess the intensity of, inten of attention that other disciplines uh, receive. So what it is stays a little bit amorphous. Um, uh, and you make of myth what seems to work for you. But I think that's improving. And um, we start with the premise that myths are stories. Um, but they're stories that, while being very particular, have universal import. So that wherever one is from, uh, a story that has, let's say, envy as its main theme, well, it doesn't matter what culture, race, nationality you were born in, envy is a universal human experience. That's what myths go after. So for me, Myths are structured stories that have to um, engage what Carl Jung called archetypes, in other words, universal principles uh, which all human beings uh, suffer from, uh, enjoy, um, but experience in a lifetime. I mean, I don't think anybody gets out of the world without envying or resenting or loving um, or feeling joy. Those are the ingredients uh, for mythic stories. I am not sure if I'm ready to say that all stories are mythic, but um, all myths are stories, at least in their, in their, in their central core, all myths arrive in story form. Now some have argued that myths are different from mythology and some would say that mythology is the, if you break the word down, is the logos of myth, the language of myth. But myths themselves are presences and experiences. And I thought that was an interesting distinction to think about. that. Maybe what we're doing when we're telling our story is that we're telling our mythology. And right behind it is the myth that that story is giving uh, voice to. At least that's how I'm thinking about it now. And I keep letting it mutate. And depending on who I read um, and maybe extract from them uh, an understanding of myth and then riff on it in my own way. But if it if it's going to be a myth, it has to be a particular story that carries universal uh, applications. Myths have been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. They can be used as a road map to help us navigate our way through life. Myths are false on the outside, but true on the inside. Myths are lies which tell the truth. Myths are stories that have never been, but will always be. Myths are not just for putting children to sleep, but for waking adults up. <laughs>